All right, hey guys, it's Terrence here. I'm going to show you how to fix the uh, searching in Windows so that when you search for something like interleukin um, in one of your folders, you will end up with uh, all of your PDF files being searched by their content. Um, or like, you know, if I even search, uh, you'll be able to see um, everything is indexed. Um, so this is a function of the Windows indexing software. When a little bit of background, when Adobe Acrobat installs or Adobe Reader, um, it has had a bug since 2012 or early 2012 for over a year now in which it has overwritten the registry number or the registry file, the registry key, excuse me, for um, the default Windows indexer, or uh, they call them eye filters. Eye filters are what allows for the pages of your PDF document and the content content to be indexed by Windows. Um, what you can do is you can go to if you have Adobe Reader or Adobe Acrobat or something else. It doesn't even matter, honestly, because the eye filter is totally separate from your PDF reader. You will want, if you have a 64-bit platform, is this Adobe Reader iFilter 9 for 64-bit platforms. And if you don't, oh, excuse me, this one right here, the full download, uh, PDF iFilter 64-bit. This is free. And if you have a uh, non-64-bit um, computer, you can run, there's an iFilter down here somewhere. Uh, you might only need to have number six, but uh, go with this one. This is 2004. That's a little ridiculous. It might just actually. I think it just installs with Adobe Reader on 32-bit programs, and they have this separate one for 64 bits because Adobe Reader is only a 32-bit 2-bit program. That's what it is. No, now I remember. Um, so if you have a 64-bit computer, you'll need to get this, and if you have a 32-bit, you'll have to, you'll already have it because it's installed. And um, Adobe has released an official fix for this at, uh, at this website here, Adobe Helpx Adobe.com, Acrobat KB slash KB slash PDF dash search dash breaks dash 110 dash install HTML. And this is their official solution, which is ridiculous that their solution is to edit uh, the registry. So whatever, that's what we're going to do. So make sure you have iFilter installed. It's PDF iFilter. Then you'll want to go to the registry, and you can do that by typing, uh, holding down the Windows key and then pressing R. And you can type in regedit.exe. Uh, and that'll come up with a little prompt, a user account prompt, and, and uh, you'll see here that I've already gone to it, and it says tells you exactly what to do on this website. Go to hkclassesroot.pdf or slash .pdf slash persistent handler. And if it does not exist, and, and mine did not exist, so I had to create mine. So this persistent handler was not here, and you get to this. Sorry, I should show you from the beginning. Basically, it'll look like this. H key cl classes root is where you need to open that up and expand it. Then scroll down to dot. Scroll down to dot PDFs, and then you'll want to expand that. And you'll see you might not see persistent handler here. If you do not, go ahead and right uh, click on PDF dot PDF, right click it and create, and then uh, put your cursor over new and then create key and then here you will type in persistent exactly how they have it on uh, on their website on the Adobe website persistent handler and that will and then you'll end up with a folder like this and in that folder you will see this is the key here, the key number, and it probably will be changed 
if you just install Adobe. So you, you'll either have this persistent folder if you or you might not. If you don't, I suggest you create it. This is what I had to do. I had to create the folder, then go to this and modify it and put in the number that Adobe states on their website. Right here, you can copy and paste it into there. And then after I and then I re I had to reinstall because it, it didn't work. I had to reinstall the eye filter or um, you need you should reinstall which of what it says here reinstall Adobe Reader. And then it actually shows up changed again. You'll restart your computer and it'll come back and this will be back to this number here. Then you got to come back again and change it. So I don't know what goes on there, but. You have to change it twice to this, or I did, um, and eventually it ended up working. So you do that, you create this key, a quick overview. So you install Adobe Reader or iFilter. You come up here, you create this key here. If I create a new key on here, you create a new key, and then you'll change this. It'll start off with a bunch of zeros there, and then you create that. You modify the key with the number here provided on the Adobe website. Then you install, you reinstall Adobe Reader or iFilter, and then you re-come into the you re-come into the registry and modify this number again to match the one here on the Adobe website. Once that is done, you can then go to the control panel by pressing the window key, typing in control or you can come down here and right click and go to the control panel or you can go over here and go to settings control panel um, so anyways get to the control panel then you'll click on indexing options and then you'll go to modify cancel that advanced file types and scroll down to .pdf or just pdf excuse me and you'll want to see it say reader search handler. If it has only the index, if it says index properties only, you'll want to switch it to index properties and file contents. And you can do the same thing for this PDF XML, which I have done. Then you'll click OK. Then what will happen is it'll need to, oh, excuse me, and you'll click close, you know, right click here. And get to the control panel again. It's already open, actually. Actually, excuse me. You'll go to the uh, task manager, services, and W search, and you will then restart the services. It's retarded. It says all of this on the Adobe website, which is, uh, excuse me, it says all of this on the Adobe website here. And uh, it doesn't tell you exactly how to get to everything, but you can get to it once this loads, if it ever loads. Um, and again, you can have it re-index your files by choosing Modify. And you can add whatever files you want in here. So say like you create your own folder that is not within the hierarchy of users, which is what is already you know indexed um, you can go ahead and add it here um, but you can um, click on advanced uh, once you do that your file type you can rebuild it here if you click on rebuild it'll rebuild and it'll say it rebuilding and mine says index complete because it finally did it it takes at least uh, overnight or um, you know sometimes a couple of days to rebuild but once it does um, you'll be able to go into your folder here and search for, I mean, you can even come out way a lot, uh, like not even be in anything, and I'll type in interleuke, and it'll come up with, you know, stuff deep within my folder structure here. I mean, this is in one, two, three, four, you know, it's like five folders deep um, into my file structure, and, you, and it'll find it. And once it's indexed, it's pretty quick, so... Uh, the indexed files are already indexed. Something like searching like the uh, Windows folder, this takes a long time.
Um, it says here, but see, it's still searching. The it's not indexed. Um, Windows has not indexed the Windows folder. <laughs> but uh, you see what I'm saying. So if you want to, you can go to this website here, the official fix for this. And I know it sounds goofy, but you're probably gonna have to do it. Just install Adobe Reader or whatever you use. Install iFilter if you have a 64-bit version. Um, and the way to get to the iFilter is super convoluted as well. If you want to go to the Adobe website, go to download. Um, then you'll want to click on, shoot, I clicked on learn more, I think, here. And then I went down to um, Windows updates. And this is where you find Windows updates, and this is where the eye filter is for the 64-bit um, Adobe uh, for indexing files and stuff. Um, I guess that's about it. Just you know, you have to re, you have to install that, then change it, then install that, then change the registry again. It sounds goofy. It, it ends up working though. You come in and you'll and you'll see, and you go ahead and modify the uh, indexing options to make sure that. Um, it's included in your, uh, make sure that the PDF, as index properties and file contents included, and it'll work out perfectly for you. It may take a day or two for it to start, for it to be finished indexing, and it won't really, it slows down your computer, but not that much because it slows down indexing. Uh, as you become active on your computer. So uh, let it run overnight and uh, you won't be sorry. You'll be happy you did that. All right, good luck and uh, good luck in life.